Let's take a look at the player camera that is available on unityprefabs.com. Now the player camera is a third person camera so it's over shoulder and there's two types of over shoulder cameras available on Unity Prefabs. Now this one is the uh, player camera so it follows the player directly. As you can see this big cylinder here is the player. You can replace this with your character just uh, like for example Gears of War that sort of thing and when you start walking the camera follows it directly and when you move your mouse you will see that it rotates the character right away. So if you don't want that then use the other third person camera which is the overview camera where the controls are actually relative to the camera so left uh, button will always move the character towards the left of the screen that sort of thing but this one is a direct follow camera like Gears of War and other games or what have you now when I walk um, there's some nice features when I start straving to the left and right at the same time the character kind of moves it kind of sways um, you can uh, uh, of course to change the damping on that but it's really nice if you're emptying out your machine gun so you can a little bit see the effects that are going on then I placed a little cube here in the middle of the level and the reason why I did that is to show you that the camera will never go through the wall. If I park my player really close and I move my camera into the wall you can see it moves closer to the character and then it moves back out. So that way your camera will never go to geometry like some third person shooters do which is uh, really looking really terrible. So of course you can jump and you can tweak the speed that you are in the air uh, let's take a look at some more variables that we can tweak here let's just uh, keep the game running and uh, let's go to uh, first select our player our player has a couple of variables that we can tweak we can uh, tweak the speed that he has while moving on the ground we can tweak the speed that he has while moving in the air and the force that we use to uh, propel the character upwards when you hit the jump key and then the horizontal rotation speed is basically your mouse sensitivity. Then we have the drag or friction as soon as it is on the floor. And then we have the drag or friction that we have as soon as it's in the air. And of course that's a lot lower than the one on the floor. All right, now there's also a camera pivot. And this basically is the rotation point. And there we can find the vertical rotation speed, which is also the mouse sensitivity and the maximum angle that we can have to look at the character. So as you can see, uh, when I move up or down, this is the maximum angle as set in the uh, camera pivot right here. Now you can of course hit invert Y on or off and you can link that with your main menu. Then we have the main camera has a couple of features as well. As I run the game, uh, you can see that as soon as I start changing my minimum and maximum distance, let me change it right here. Maximum distance, for example, is five, and then we'll change our minimum distance to four. And as you can see now, our character is zoomed out a little further than you would normally expect. Now you can do this to create, for example, nice effects if you want to do a cinematic and look over a wall when he gets closer, that sort of thing, or just to position the camera to your liking. All right, so there's also, of course, the damping and then the tolerance of the collision with the camera into walls and that sort of thing. And, of course, last but not least, you can change the target, uh, what we are actually following with the camera. And in this case, it is the player. Now, of course, you're uh, supposed to um, replace this little cylinder with your character and add some animations to it. But this would set you up to really quickly make a... Uh, professional third-person shooter that works really nicely and really smoothly. All right, uh, I would also highly recommend checking out the other camera, which is the third-person overview camera. And uh, this one is some slightly different controls. So check out that video to uh, make sure you make the right choice for your game. All right, I'll see you next time.